Hey, it's Jake with RyeUtah.com. I'm standing in the middle of my raised garden beds, and I'll show you that in a separate video. We're going to head to the dome, and I'm going to show you what's going on in there because a lot's about to change. The Swiss chard has just flowered up. But let me show you what's going on. You can see the raised garden beds are definitely taken off. And I'm going to turn, actually, and show you over along this side of the house. The big ad since last time. This is the kiwi. This is Victor. He's a Siberian strain. And you can see right to the right is the gojis. A few of them, at least, are starting to, to uh, vine up along this uh, support structure. But I just want to come this way, actually, and show you the dome today, because that's the big change that's going to be occurring here over the next week or so, these beautiful greens. Anyway, I'll do a separate video on this backyard, um, the food forest in the backyard. Look at that beautiful onion. But today is actually the dome update. So let me take you in there and show you what's going on. More kiwis coming up. Next video, next video. Okay, so... In the last video of the dome, it was the kale to the right that was completely flowered up, and this time it's the, the chard. You can see all the way to the top, got four different, five different strains, I believe, of heirloom chards. So you can see the pollen kind of coming off them right now. And unlike the kales, I'm noticing they don't have a big flower, so I'm just waiting for them to show me their seeds so I can collect that. There's the ginkgo. Okay, so I only have two more minutes on this video. It's not going to be a long update on the dome. But I just wanted to show you the, the tomatoes. Let's see if I can come around in here. See this beautiful strain here. It's a type of cherry. And I've continued to drop the suckers off. And they're just vining up. See this one here is a grape variety. She's getting taller. And this one here. It's a real pretty strain of, um, I think this is called Juliet Grape. She's gorgeous. Just really flowered up. And they just continue to climb. I've got about 10 different um, strains of heirloom right here in this cluster of getting ready to be planted. And they're going to all go around this side of the dome where these chards are right now. And hopefully that, that will uh, produce us a lot of tomatoes through the summer. You see the mango? Yeah, that's kind of a little update I wanted to show you. See if I can come back around this way. Yeah. So it's kind of thick right now with flowers. and Oh, here comes a really pretty strain of Amish tomato. She's climbing up. So we've got lots of new climbers coming up. Yeah, it's kind of a quick update as to what's going on. You can see my pawpaws hanging out, getting ready to be planted. Some honeyberries, beautiful little pawpaw. It's really nice and thick and just ever-changing in here. So I'll keep you guys updated as to what's going on. And I'll do another video update on the backyard and show you what's going on back there in the food forest. Have fun growing your own. That beautiful flower cluster up there.